Hi, this is Joey with Dreaminoids Hi-Fi. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Riga amplifiers. I'm super excited to be doing this. Um, our amplifier selection here at uh, Dreaminoids is not taken lightly. Just like every component we choose, we choose with intentionality. Um, we don't just look at price points, we look at overall value. Uh, so what I mean by that is that uh, we don't have, we don't carry all of Riga's amplifiers. Um, Riga currently makes five with one on the way to uh, be six. And today we have the Riga Brio R, we have the Elex R, and we have the Riga Athos that recently came out. You can see the unboxing video for this that we came out with. We'll have a link to that. Um, but Riga actually makes uh, two amplifiers, one that fits between the LXR and the Athos, and then one above the Athos that is gonna be the Osiris. Um, in terms of pricing, uh, the Riga Brio is $9.95, the Riga LXR is gonna be uh, $16.95, and then the Athos is $44.95. So um, each of these, as you move up, uh, uh, in, uh, in our opinion, obviously are going to sound better, but um, they are going to have some slight differences in features too. Um, the amplifier between this amplifier and this amplifier between the Elex R and the Athos is called the Illicit R. It's a great amplifier. Uh, we have a customer with one that runs his uh, Riga RX5s with it. He loves it. Um, but we uh, typically feel that most people are going to fall into an ELXR kind of situation um, and then jump up to an Athos uh, because it's just such a significant jump between the two. Um, I feel like the ELXR, uh, sorry, the Illicit R is often an intermediary step. And then the Osiris uh, we don't carry because uh, we currently carry uh, an amplifier that we feel exudes um, really great great musical qualities called Crimson. Uh, it's a preamp amp combo. And that's what we tend to sell. We tend to not um, carry competing uh, um, uh, pieces just because, uh, well, you know, you can go shop around, you can go find other places. What we're looking for to offer you is what we think is the best at that price. So when you come into our shop, and we have something here, it's not because, oh, well, it's good and it fit into what we were doing. It's like, no, like, this is it. This is what we believe is what you should buy at this price point. If we have it, we stand behind it. Now, one of the great things about Riga, and one of the reasons we're so proud is that um, I've been in Riga since I was 16 years old. I'm 39 years old now. Uh, when I was 18, I bought a Riga Brio. Uh, it was a second gen Riga Brio. So. Uh, Riga used to have uh, amplifiers that were about this size. The first Riga was actually it was called they were called clamshells back then, and it was half the size of a full size. And so it was really cool. I really liked it. Um, when I bought my second gen, it was a full size. I was okay with that, but uh, man, I actually uh, went back and bought like used a, a half shell. Ended up selling it to one of my best friends, uh, who has it to this day and uses it. Um, but I I I diverge into to Riga history. I'm a huge Riga nut. Um, and what, the reason I'm a huge Riga nut is because uh, I grew up with Lynn and Name and Riga and ATC and Tannoy and a lot of British hi-fi that I really looked up to. And one of the things I liked about Riga was that um, at no point were they trying to emulate anybody else, but they were definitely paying homage to what other people were doing. And I've always really enjoyed that. And they've always taken their own steps in creating their space as well. Uh, while a lot of other companies uh, delved right into home theater, Riga has, I mean, they put one foot in it a couple of times with a center channel and uh, a subwoofer, but that was about it. They've really stuck to the music. And so I feel that their amplification um, uh, really exemplifies that. Um, so 995, 1695, 4495, you know, what do you get? Why do we carry this? So um, now I said there was an amplifier on the way. 
And that amplifier is called the Riga IO. It was announced like the week before COVID uh, really started taking place and Riga had to shut its doors down for, um, while uh, they retooled for social distancing. And so um, we don't have an ETA as to when it will be in the States, but we hope as soon as possible. I'm hoping in the summer, um, but you know, time will tell. We, we just don't know. But the Riga IO should fall in around five to $700. Uh, we don't have a firm price yet. It's gonna depend on dollar uh, pound uh, pricing. And um, it, sh it's, it should be an amazing little amplifier. It's gonna, uh, it's gonna put out like 30 watts a channel. It'll have um, a remote and a phono input, uh, moving magnet. So the Riga Brio uh, here, it offers a, um, a slew of connections, okay? So it's gonna have a moving magnet uh, phono input. What that means is there's two types of, of uh, are typically two types of, of uh, cartridges. There's gonna be moving magnet and moving coil. If you see me go over some of the turntables, we often refer to that. We've done some unboxings of the different phono sections and also talked about the difference between moving magnet and moving coil. So on the entry level uh, amplifiers, uh, in general, you're gonna find moving magnet um, phono inputs. Then you'll have some just line level, you'll have a, a record out over here, and then these are gonna be your, your speaker outputs with uh, banana and five-way binding post options as well. And then um, it'll also have uh, an IEC power connector. So you can hook up a, a power cable to it. It comes with one. Now uh, the front is gonna have a, a volume control. It's gonna have a selector switch. You'll notice it also has a headphone uh, jack, which is really nice. And then of course there's a power switch. So this amplifier is very solid. I believe it puts out around 50 watts per channel. Uh, we've run all kinds of speakers with it. Um, Riga RX1s are uh, a, a sublime choice for this amplifier. Um, but we also have customers that run fine audio speakers. I had a customer that had um, 303s that they ran with this, and then they recently upgraded to 501s, uh, fine audio 501 speakers, and they have a large space, probably 20 by 20, and, uh, and they've been rocking out with this amp and having a good time. Um, at some point, I may take one of these over there and kind of show them uh, some of the differences, but really, this is, this is a really solid amplifier. The other thing that's amazing about Riga, and I mean amazing, is that uh, they're all handmade in, in, in Sussex, uh, uh, England, right next to London. And so when I say these have value, I don't mean they just have value in the sense that um, at that price point, I mean, there are people that put their time and effort into this that uh, are in the same building as the engineers and the designers. And it's, it's a different kind of energy that goes into creating this product. The Riga Elex R here is a big step up from the Brio, not in terms of power. I believe this is like 65, 70 watts a channel. Um, what's really a big step up is just, it's gonna be a full case. It's gonna have dedicated spaces for um, the different components that go inside of it. It's uh, gonna have a, a different power supply. It's gonna use a, a couple of different kind of circuitry. And um, again, it has a uh, selector button here, and then it also has volume. Now it does not have a headphone jack. So, you know, for some people that are really into headphones, this may be a deal breaker. Uh, you can also buy a headphone amp, of course, to hook up. But, um, you know, I do wanna bring that up because, uh, you know, a lot of times people are looking for that. Now, something that it does have that the Brio doesn't have is this is gonna have a pre-out. So what is a pre-out versus a tape-out? A tape-out is a constant output. A pre-out means that it has variable volume. Um, when you change the volume, it changes the volume of the pre-out. So you can hook up a subwoofer, you can hook up extra amplifiers. You could, if, you know, if you're someone that wants to have like a zone two, you can have a zone two and run an amplifier to a different space. Um, there's just a lot of opportunity with it uh, that I believe people will appreciate. Um, let me go ahead and flip this one around and uh, show you again kind of some of the inputs and outputs. So you'll see we have a phono moving magnet um, 
input and then we're going to have our phono input i mean our, our line level inputs we'll have a tape out and then we'll have a pre out then we're going to have our binding posts again uh, as you can see high quality iec connector um, this is just a really solid amplifier i have played it with all kinds of speakers uh, difficult loads like ATCs and you can play the you know play them till our heart's content and this amplifier just sings with it um, this is a really great amplifier overall I'm a big believer in it I've played ten thousand dollar speakers on it and have had great results high efficiency speakers um, just everything I have customers that have used it with Klipsch uh, corn walls I mean just you mention you you name it this amp usually mates pretty well with it. Um, and again, when you put Riga with it, we've run the RX-1s and the RX-5s with this amplifier. We have multiple customers with this amplifier and RX-5s and they love it. Uh, it's just a really, really great setup. I can't recommend this amplifier enough. And then we have the Riga Athos, okay? So this is gonna be a significant step up. Um, what do I mean by significant? I mean that um, it doesn't have a phono section and it's $44.95. Uh, this amplifier is built to be part of a Riga system um, in the sense that you're going to uh, match it with a turntable, a phono section, you know, a cartridge, and then speakers uh, to go with it. So. Currently, um, this amplifier puts out 160 watts into 6 ohms, I believe. And um, this is a heavy amplifier. You saw me pick these up, and it was kind of just like I show you. This is significantly heavier. Significantly. And um, you'll see it has six inputs. It's going to have a pre-out. It's going to have a tape-out. It's going to have the, uh, the binding posts again and then an IEC connector. Um, this amplifier is a high resolution, high end amplifier. It's, and it's high current as well. Uh, I've actually popped the top off this one before and the insides are amazing to look at. Uh, it has a, um, a volume again and then it's going to have input selector. It's also going to have a mute button and then, oh, there it is. And there's the headphone jack. So we get back to a headphone jack on this one. Um, don't quote me, I do not know which, if the Elicit R has a headphone jack. So can't answer that, I'll have to look that up. Maybe I'll add it into the description. So these are the three amplifiers. I think they're really great um, levels to move up from. So one of the things you're gonna ask right away is, well, what about the phono sections for the Athos? So, most people that are moving to an Athos are gonna have like a Riga P8 or a Riga P10, maybe a P6 with an Aenea Pro, and those are all gonna be moving coil cartridges. Now, maybe you don't use Riga cartridges, maybe you have a high-end moving magnet uh, phono section, I mean a phono cartridge. Well, you can get uh, a Riga Phono MM, so it's gonna be a moving magnet, for, uh, and plug it into here. Um, we have uh, here, like some, a lot of people run a P6 on the Elex, Elex R uh, and with an Aenea cartridge and that's gonna be moving coil. Uh, Riga sells the Phono MC, which is this Phono section right here. This is a great Phono section. Um, it's 495 paired with this amplifier and a P6 and a Aenea Pro and whatever speakers you want. It's a killer system. I mean, just killer, just unbelievable in my opinion. Um, you can also run the Brio with a Phono MC if you're running to run like a, probably a P3 with an Aenea, I'd recommend is kind of where I'd go with that. Um, and then to me with the Athos, this is gonna be kind of like, I bought the Athos, I wanna get my turntable going, but in reality, what I'm gonna recommend is uh, the Riga Aria Phono section here. And this Phono section is, is again, is like a half, uh, half size. Uh, phono section and um, this is going to actually do bo both moving magnet and moving coil so it's not going to matter if you have uh, a moving magnet high-end moving magnet uh, cartridge it will work with the Riga uh, Aria one of the cool things about the Aria is that um, it truly is high-end so it's going to have a moving uh, magnet and moving coil 
inputs, it'll have your outputs, and then it has dip switches to um, actually fine tune the loads if you're, if you get that nerdy about it. Uh -huh. You can definitely have some fun with this preamplifier, this phono preamp. And this is what I would recommend to go with a Riga Athos. So this is uh, 1495. It is a great phono section, but yeah, this is going to be a $6,000 set up by the time you're all said and done. Uh, with a 495 and 1695, it's gonna be about 2200. And uh, it's gonna be a phenomenal setup as well. So, um, you know, with the Illicit R that sits in between, again, you could get a Phono MC, you could get a uh, Aria and uh, be at 4500 or you could be at 3500. So, you know, I go over all of these, having run them all for uh, months, if not years with these two. And um, I, we really enjoy having them in the shop. Our customers really enjoy uh, uh, them in their home. And um, I hope this was informative. I hope this gave you some insight. Um, this amplifier I've run with the Fine Audio 703s, which are gonna be a $12,000 set of speakers um, with I believe a 92 or 93 dB efficiency at eight ohms and um, it, it it held its own. I mean, it performs amazingly. Uh, now, in addition to these amplifiers, you might be asking yourself, okay, well, you know, what would I use to plug in? Because, you know, let's get practical. What would I use to plug in this into this? Um, what we recommend, and I have right here, are going to be some Riga interconnects. This is called the Riga Couple. Um, as you can see, it has these really nice uh, tensioning uh, RCA plugs, and so you can plug them in in the back, and then you just tighten them down, and they work wonderfully. Um, they just pull right off, uh, but you can also tighten them down, and it's going to have a nice compression on it. Make sure you have a solid connection. Uh, these are 195 and they uh, make a huge difference in terms of, of power. Now, a lot of people ask me, do cables make a difference? Um, yes, cables make a difference. Uh, do I need everybody to believe that in my life? No, I don't. Like, if you don't believe it, okay, that's fine. But if you sit down and listen, uh, there's a reason Riga makes these cables. They don't just make stuff for fun. Riga doesn't advertise. They don't make gimmicky things. And so uh, I really believe these cables match well with their equipment. Another thing that will also get on people's spectrum is uh, Riga does actually make a power cable. Now, I don't believe in power cables uh, for the most part, but our distributor was like, hey, you really need to try this. And I hooked it up to the Elex R and I was shocked at the difference. I was shocked at how much better it sounded. And so um, I went ahead and took some and I had some customers try it and they were shocked. And um, yeah. So we carry them, and I believe these are also 195. And uh, I'm a system person. I'm like, if I was, if I had a Porsche, I would have like all the Porsche stuff. Um, you know, I'm a Lexus person, so I use all my OEM Lexus gear. So I just like having uh, a Riga OEM cable. Now, in addition to those cables, you might be wondering, well, what do I hook up my speakers with? This is uh, something that's not sold everywhere. In the States, uh, we are one of the few, if not the only dealers to carry a uh, Riga cable. And we actually make this cable here. That's why this box looks like very OEM. And, uh, and I, I make these cables myself. I buy the heat shrink and everything. That, that's why their colors are the way they are. I think it looks really cool. I got the degree to pay, you know, homage to Riga. And um, this uh, Riga cable, a tw this is a 12 foot set. This is gonna be $280 for the set. You can get eight foot sets. Um, we do uh, include uh, our own vinyl cut Riga uh, stickers. So uh, that's a plus two. But um, yeah, we just, we really believe in Riga as a brand and as a system. And uh, I hope y'all found this video um, useful. I hope that if you have questions, you post up comments. Uh, we do reply. We read your comments. If you go and you look at our unboxings, one of the uh, videos, one of the feedback that we got a lot was, hey, well, go more in depth. Tell us about it once you've listened to it. You know, what do they match well? How does it work? 
And, uh, and so that's what we're circling back and doing. So if you like this, let us know. If you have critique, let us know. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much.